going. So if we wanted to make something like this shape uh, in this piece of wood, we'd start with a parting tool, taking in the depth points. Yeah? If we knew what those were, we might have a pair of calipers set up. So you would work with a parting tool down to the depth that you want to go to. And you might even take the code down below that to the height that that's going to go to. And then you might use the corner of the parking tool or you might pick up a skew just to make a mark in there so you know where that one is. And similarly here, that's the deep point. And this is the start point of that curve. Okay. So you've got the definitions that your curves are going to go to. Then you take your spindle gouge and as before you start on the bevel to one side of the high point, you find the cut and with the swing you pick the cut up very gently so as to leave a nice fat curve on the top. Yeah. Then you put him back to go the other way again across the high point and swing so as you're smoothing that high point out and you only begin the roll once you've got past the high point. If you roll too soon, you'll create a point on the top of your high point. Right down to there, you see you bring them in nice and tight. How do you bring them in tight? By swinging the handle. Swing the handle round. Yeah? Then similarly, have the handle swung to start the cove, so you get a nice steep start on the cove. Here again, swing the handle across, you see. And then down into the bottom. Notice how the gouge does not roll in the bottom of the cove. The side of the gouge does the cutting. Most people roll in the bottom of coves, but you get a much better result if you don't follow that intuitive idea of rolling, but use the side of the gouge in the bottom of the cove. Then here, the same thing for a bead. We're coming on the top, first the swing, first the swing, then the roll, First the swing, then the roll, and then swing, 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 swing the other way so to get a nice steep cut on there. And the same thing here, because here we had a long, almost flat, coming down into the curve, so we'll just smooth that out like that, down into the curve. And it's all about the swing on the gouge. So often people just don't swing gouges. Whether you're doing bowls or spindles, swinging the tool is what creates the beauty of the curve. Now, before we finish this entirely, um, we have to smooth out these. And here, you see, the parting tool used like a skew coming across. And this is the Ashley Isles swaged parting tool. Lovely tools to work with. I have to be a bit delicate sharpening them, but lovely tools to work with. And then down here, you see, again, using the parting tool like a skew, coming down into the hollow. Mm. And that'll do for now.